Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly love readings. These will be from the 23rd through to the 27th of March. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit the notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on youtube now there is so much happening in the world at the moment i hope everyone is staying safe um australia well where i am in australia has just announced that we will be locking down so that is potentially really great or really not great i'm not sure yet um but if we go into lockdown and i can do some more random readings we might do some live shows because um, I'm keen to know how many of you guys are kind of hold up and what you're doing and what's happening and that will give me a good indication of all right do we want to do some live shows I might even might even show you all what I look like under here all right let's go with some love messages for this week though yeah all right love messages for the Pisces collective please look at this you guys need to take some time out and heal and I know exactly why I think that they're and this is probably for my empath group and Pisces, you're highly emotional. So there's a lot of Pisces that are empathic, um, maybe not empaths, but empathic, different. Um, what is happening at the moment? I have a lot of friends. It has affected me personally as an empath. Um, and this happened during the fires as well. The uh, it, it, you're feeling the weight of the of the whole world at the moment. There is so much energy being thrown around, and I know myself from I'm dif having difficulty shielding from it. Um, it has been enormously overwhelming, um, and difficult to deal with in t at times. Spirit is saying you guys need to rest, shield, rest, re like heal your energy rest your energy rest your soul like that's what this is about um taking time to just do the meditation find some peaceful time where you're not kind of thinking about all this stuff um because i think it is probably affecting all of us there is a lot of confusion it's like all these things coming at you it's like i don't know which way to look there's so many different opinions and people and everyone's talking at once and there's so many things and i can't that's exactly the feeling of this card i am asking for collective so hopefully it's not just my energy channeling through so let me know if you are experiencing this too it sometimes does get tricky for me with doing my own sign i do my best though all right Pisces Collective, please love messages for Pisces Collective. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but don't laugh, I cry, you know. All right, so what do we got here? We've got the Chariot in Reverse. We've got the Five of Pentacles. Okay, this is good. The Five of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Now, there must be some connection to the King of Wands here because he's come out in all the readings tonight. Um, now, there's a uh, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, Pluto. I need to look it up. I'm confusing them. But also Mars. So I don't know if there's any connection to that King of Wands. I'm not across the planets and... Um, the tarot as much i don't know if there's actually any links there probably is if there is hit me up i'd be interested to hear from you guys um but what i'm really seeing here there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of stuff coming at you um it's exhausting you need to take some time for yourself yes there is some drama roadblocks tricky issues coming at you um there is isolation potentially you will be feeling a little bit isolated from the world everyone your partner your friends um but that's okay because we've got this king of wands and the thing about the king of wands is he makes stuff happen he's really good he's very innovative um he's a great businessman because he's so innovative he he can create something out of nothing if there is a king in the deck that can create something out of nothing and make something amazing from everyone being 
stuck at home or restricted and where they can go, he's the guy to do it. So there's like, it's like, don't worry, because there's a solution at hand here. There's going to be stuff that can be done here. There's going to be doing stuff. Okay. Let's get some clarification out there, please. King of Wands, more on King of Wands. Seven of Wands, okay. More. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Jeez. Okay, this wasn't meant to be any sort of coronavirus reading, but it's kind of going that way. So he's, he's creating stuff. He's making things happen. There's also an element of defending. Defending from the Empress. What does the Empress represent? Nature, Earth, Mother Nature. Defending us from Mother Nature. Keeping us safe from Mother Nature. Creating things that will keep us safe from Mother Nature. Um, you know, innovation, like I said, business. You know, this could be, I am I am going down this path and I know I'm on a tangent here, but stay with me. This is things like um, mechanisms to keep us safe, vaccinations, cures, PPE, like personal protective gear, all that sort of stuff. Um, he's working to keep us safe from Mother Nature, which is kind of mad at us at the moment, I think. So it's kind of like, you know what, you're going to face all this stuff. That's happening. But in the background, it's okay because this King of Wands, he's got your back. It's all good. All right. What's the chariot in reverse, please? Chariot in reverse. If this pulls the death card, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Oof, lucky. Okay. There may be some issues with giving and receiving money, the exchange of goods, services, um, with the Six of Pentacles here. Um, th there might just be some difficulties with that, some challenges associated with that. Um, does it mean it's going to dry up? Not necessarily. It's just that there's going to be obstacles with giving, receiving, getting, um, that transference of stuff, be it money or goods. Um, oh, 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 getting cross. I'm going to take one more, please, from the Seven of Cups. I also know I'm being asked to do Five of Pentacles as well, so Seven of Cups, please, first. Okay. So for some of you, there may be some confusion about your workplace and whether or not your workplace is going ahead, not going ahead. Um... Yeah, I don't know how this is deviated from a love reading. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to title it Not a Love Reading and do an actual love reading for you guys. Five of Pentacles, please. And there we go. Okay. So with the Five of Pentacles, you definitely don't want to go into isolation. Um, it's like you are, even though you're going to physically do it, you're not mentally prepared for it. It's like mentally, you're like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> you're really rocking it. Like, like rocking it back, pushing it back. Let's go with Pisces thoughts and feelings, please. Thoughts and feelings. I'm going to have to do this as a bonus, Pisces. I don't know why this has come out, but obviously I think probably a lot of you are being affected by this at the moment. It's kind of weird how it's come out. I don't ever do readings that are not love readings anymore. I kind of haven't for a long time. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you are definitely... Um, yeah, you're very concerned about losing money. Like, Like for you, it's... There's a heartbreak in the opportunity, like, um, how do I say this? It's like it's hurting you because the, all you're thinking about is, like, what opportunities am I going to have? That's how, yeah. And that's messing with your head. It's causing you a lot of stress, a lot of hurt, um, anxiety, that sort of stuff. You may actually have an opportunity 
that's breaking your heart. Why is that breaking your heart? I want one more, please. What is that breaking your heart? Okay, so you may be hearing about an opportunity. I don't know why. It won't give me anything about the Three of Swords, though. Um, because the opportunity is offered. Okay, no. Thoughts and feelings. Sorry. Okay, so it looks like you are thinking about... You may have had an offer recently or you may be waiting for an offer... Um, waiting for communication with this eight of wands with the state of this the offer might not be an option anymore um, if it's particularly if it's related to a job um, ace of pentacles possibly workplace money that sort of stuff um, I think it was kind of you were, you were expecting this opportunity and now everything's flipped on its head and you, you're like yeah I need news on this but I think it's not actually going ahead it hasn't actually come through yet though so you haven't got the outcome yet what's some, there's no other people involved here so i'm just going to go what's the most likely outcome please there was something that flipped okay nine of wands now taurus got this too prepare yourself steady yourself we are going to war with a microbe basically and you need to be in your best condition he is in bloody good condition. You need to be a warrior. You need to be fit. You need to be healthy spiritually, physically, everythingly. You need to be ready for whatever's coming. And that might not be sickness for you, but it might be other stuff. And you need to be prepared mentally, physically, spiritually. Okay? So get you're getting ready. You're getting ready, which is great. You're preparing yourself. Most likely outcome here for, tw uh, for Pisces. So you've got the Four of Wands and the Star in like clarifying. Um, okay, and the Six of Cups. I think that you're putting any love hopes on hold at the moment um, and you're focusing on your friends and family, Six of Cups, the, the nurturer in you, the carer, if you're in nursing or anything like that, um, the, your, the, the inner, your inner Florence Nightingale, even if you're not in nursing, is coming out. It's like this kind of... Um, crisis is exactly what you're built for because you're like I can just care for everybody and show everyone my emotions and I'm going to I'm going to save everyone I'm going to look after everyone you're giving 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 all of yourself again why you're exhausted 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 over here but that is what you will be doing you will be focusing on your friends and family you're putting your love dreams and hopes on the back burner um, you're preparing yourself, you're, you're getting ready. Um, and I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of goodwill activities, um, helping out your community, helping out your family and friends. Like that's where you get your energy from is giving um, and caring for people and looking after people. And that's really coming through at the moment. All right, I'm going to do a love romance angel even though there's like no romance on here because it's telling me clear as day you're putting any romance on hold um why you deal with what's going on at the moment romance angel advice please please what have we got for us pisces collective romance angel advice you deserve love so that hasn't changed you do deserve love i'm going to put that here um, that has and never will change. Um, you are lovable, but I think you're, you're refocusing over here. All right, we're doing uh, the angel answers like we did last week. So angel answers, what is the most useful answer for Pisces? What answer could Pisces most use at the moment, please? We're going from the book. Answer for the Pisces Collective, please. Whoa. 
Okay, so that's a big fat no. Um, so if there's something you've been wondering or not sure on or on your mind or whatever it is, you know what this refers to, um, it's no. I'm pretty sure that there's probably no, not many ways to explain that in a book, but let's just have a look at uh, what it does say. Now it's no with an exclamation mark. There are two no's here. <laughs> the response to your inquiry is a firm no exclamation mark. You needn't worry though, as you will see why this was the perfect answer as time goes by. Now, I just heard for some of you, you're wondering whether you should contact someone. Uh, that is a hard no. <laughs> All right. And it could be like world events are making you think, oh, should I reach out to them? Answers no. Don't. I know what you guys will do. It'll be like, oh, maybe it doesn't refer to that. It does. <laughs> All right, Pisces, please keep me informed with what's going on. I do want to hear how you're being affected. Um, like I said, we're looking at lockdown. That may give me some extra time. If we want to do live crossings, live crossings, live I don't know what you call them. You know, go lives. Um, we can do some readings like that. But I just want to know what's happening with you guys. Are you in lockdown? How is it affecting you? What's going on with you guys? How are you emotionally and um, spiritually, energetically affected? Because I'd be interested to see if there's some signs that are more affected than others. I suspect there will be. Um, but yeah, looking forward to hearing all about it in the comments below. All right, guys, stay safe and we might be seeing a whole lot more of each other. Talk to you soon. Bye.